Hey guys, it's Poppin Edits here, and I'm bringing you a brand new tutorial as part of Tutorial Tuesday. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make these Apple iOS Star buttons. Three simple buttons which you can use for any sort of UI design, and they're very simple to make. So I'm going to get started. First of all, you're going to want to make a brand new document with any star background. You want to create a new layer, grab your rounded rectangle tool, set the radius to one centimeters, and check this square icon up here. You just want to draw a nice button shape like that and then from here you want to apply these layer style effects to apply the effects you just double click your layer now the first effect you want to add is a drop shadow and you're going to need the percentage on 41 percent with the distance of 2 and a size of 4 oh. there we go and now all we're going to do now is click gradient overlay and double click here and change the far left stop to the to the numbers that I say here B3 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 and that should give you um, a color going from a really soft gray to a nice white color and that gives a nice style of a button so that bit's done now you're going to want to do is press T on your control on your laptop or computer on your keyboard, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, then you want to pick the font Myriad Hebrew. If you haven't got it, I'll leave a link in the description for a download. You just want to click on your button and type the word button. Alright, now to center both of these, you want to press Control and click your layer 6. And then you're going to need to press Control A and press V on your keyboard and hit this button that looks like two renga rectangles have been skewered and then you want to click this one here there you go, it's centered it all up right now from here all you're going to need to do is change the effects on the button on the, uh, the text saying button first of all you want to have a drop shadow and the color is going to need to be white with an opacity of 75, the angle at 90 a distance of 2 and a size of 2 and then after that you want to hit inner shadow and you're going to change the settings to 75% opacity 90 degree angle distance 2 size 2 like that and now you're going to hit color overlay and you're going to change the color to 5b 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 and hit OK and there we go the button sort of looks at the text looks as if it's um inlaid into the button now what you're going to want to do is control click both your icons again and press control G also just group it then right click duplicate group OK and then just move it down a slight bit like that open up your group click your bottom layer double click it and we're just going to change the settings so it looks like um, the button is being pressed so first of all keep all your settings you had then just click inner shadow uh, sorry not inner shadow inner glow click that and you want to have the opacity to 56 percent and a size of 5 and then click your gradient overlay and all you want to do is click reverse and it'll look as if the button's being pressed down click OK and then that's done now just right click the group you made duplicate the group click OK move it down about there open it up double click your layer 6 uh, sorry your shape and then you just want to apply these effects first of all you're going to hit drop shadow and you're going to need to change the color to white with 59 percent opacity 90 degree angle size of 4 distance of 2 then after that you want to hit inner shadow change the opacity to s change the opacity to 75 percent angle on 90 distance on 3 and a size of 4 then you want to hit outer glow and you want to change outer glow to 9 percent opacity and a size of 5 and then last of all you want to hit gradient overlay 
and you want to change the far left stop to the color code I've got here which is 454545 click OK and then you want to change the far right one to 87 87 87 and there you go now as you can see the, the text isn't very visible so all you're going to do is double click your button click color overlay click the color and change the color to a darker color and for me I'm going to click 49 49 49 and there you have it three simple iOS buttons easy to make and you can use these for any sort of UI designs making apps or just standard designs now if you like this series I'm doing and you wish to see more please leave a comment of what other tutorials I can do please leave a like and a favorite and that will make me very happy <laughs> anyway, this is my pet edit signing out. Peace. Love is you.